a volume of 120 milliliter of drink which is made up of half alcohol and half water by mass originally at a temperature of 25 degrees celsius is cooled by adding 20 grams of ice at 0 degrees celsius if all the ice melts find the final temperature of the drink and uh, let's start this question and i've just uh, mentioned all the things that will uh, will uh, require to to solve this problem I mean that uh, mass of alcohol is mass of water and they have also given us that the density of the drink is this much grams per cubic centimeter mass of ice is 20 grams latent heat of ice ice is 80 kilo, uh, calories per gram volume of the drink is 120 milliliter initial temperature of the drink is 25 degrees Celsius and the temperature of this ice is 0 degrees Celsius and they are asking that uh, when we mix this ice um, and we put it into this drink and when all the ice melts what is the final temperature of the drink that you will observe um, after um, leaving the leaving the drink to settle down okay so first of all um, when we put the ice in how much how much uh, heat does the ice require to melt well we know that uh, the uh, heat is mass times the latent heat right um, so in this case this is ice so this will be equal to this will be equal to the mass of ice which is 20 grams times the latent heat of ice which is 80 calories per gram so if we simplify this a bit we lose our grams we get 1600 calories so that is that is the heat required for the ice to melt and um, that is why the zero degree celsius is mentioned men mentioned here and that is because if uh, it were if it were a bit lower then it will also require require heat to get to zero degrees celsius and then further require some heat such that it melts so in this case um, the ice is at zero degrees celsius so it just needs to melt and not to change its temperature so yeah uh, that is the heat required by the ice to melt and now this this uh, heat is lost nowhere right this uh, experiment we're doing in um, adiabatically i mean uh, no heat is transferred from uh, the surrounding to the to the system <coughs> so uh, the heat uh, gained by ice must be provided by someone right and that will be provided by this drink here which is alcohol and water um, which uh, has the equal mass of alcohol as well as water and this is just for <laughs> showing purposes but alcohol and water mix so this is not the true picture that you will see okay so yeah uh, okay so this this is the heat lost uh, so heat gained by the ice so this must be the heat uh, lost due to alcohol and water that must be also 1600 kilo, uh, not kilograms calories okay so that makes sense so far so what is the heat loss due to alcohol and water well I can I conclude that this is heat lost by alcohol plus the heat lost by water and that must be 1600 calories <coughs> okay and we also know that Q is M S delta T right um, where S is the specific heat as we call it right so what is the heat loss due to alcohol then the heat loss due to alcohol according to this is the mass of alcohol alcohol times the specific heat of alcohol times delta T plus and similarly this will be mass of water times specific heat of water times the same delta t 
and that should be 1600 calories. Now, I'm, I'm going to consider a state when the drink is complete, right? It is in stable, it is in steady state. So the picture would look, look something like this. Maybe this is the drink after adding the ice and also somehow the, the alcohol is mixed with the water. Okay, so this is the final uh, final uh, picture here. And I consider that uh, the final temperature is T degrees Celsius, right? And T is what I have to find out. So I just consider T degrees Celsius. Now, um, they also give us one thing here that uh, the density of the drink is 0 0.33, uh, 833 grams per cubic centimeter, and that is without the ice, right? So what is density? Density is mass of the drink divided by volume of the drink, right? And that is uh, the mass of the drink initially was the mass of alcohol plus the mass of water divided by. Now they gave us the volume, right? Uh, volume was 120 milliliters and that should be equal to the density which they gave us and that was 0 0.833 uh, I'll forget the units just for now okay so if you solve this equation you'll get mass of alcohol plus the mass of water is equal to 0 0.833 times 120, 120 and uh, you might say that you are multiplying milliliters by uh, calories, uh, sorry, um, grams per uh, cubic centimeter, but uh, keep in mind that one milliliter is one cubic centimeter. So that doesn't harm anything. So if you calculate this, this comes out approximately 100, um, 100 grams, right? So this is the case. And they also told us that the mass of alcohol is equal to mass of water so from here we get that mass of alcohol is equal to mass of water is equal to 50 grams right okay so what do we do then now if I substitute it back here I'll, I'll find this out right so if I take this equation right here and I simplify it I will get this mass of alcohol is 50 and the specific heat of alcohol they gave us it is 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 times the temperature difference the the alcohol was initially at 25 degrees Celsius right and finally it is at T so the change in temperature is this plus the mass of water was also 50 grams times the specific heat of water in calories is 1 times the same temperature difference because it was also initially at 25 and now it is at T and that should be equal to 1600 and if you do a little bit of math which I won't in this video you'll get that T is 5 degrees Celsius so this is this is a problem of calorimetry Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.